Welcome back. It's me, Lou. I'm here for another action figure unboxing and review. And today, from McFarland Toys in the DC Multiverse line, we are featuring the McFarland Gold Label Collection Dead Man. So, this is Dead Man as he appears in DC Rebirth. Um, if you look at it, it looks fantastic. You have some ghostly ectoplasmic effects on the right. Uh, the trading card uh, behind them, and you also have a display stand. On the back, we have a nice, beautiful illustration of the character as he appears in DC Rebirth. Alright, so I'm not 100% sure, but I think this might be a Target exclusive um, here in the States. That's where I obtained this action figure. And it was a pleasant surprise when they first announced them. And here we go, we have Dead Man looking pretty sleek inside of um, his plastic tray. Uh, my first thoughts when I saw this figure in the store is that I would love for them to use this body and this upper torso with a collar piece and use that to create um, a disco Nightwing character. Just because, I don't know, the high collar and the jumpsuit, it just reminds me so much of Dick Grayson as like the 1980s version of Nightwing. Now let's take this guy out. Oh, surprisingly, this tray is affixed to the cardboard. I'm not sure if that's a first or not. That was never the case before, at least with most of the figures I've reviewed. Alright, so in addition to the figure, you have these, um, I'm just going to leave them in the tray for now because I don't want to waste too much time trying to take these out. Uh, but you kind of have these ghostly ectoplasmic effects here on the right. And here we go, we have Dead Man. It's a great looking figure. Um, I love the shade of red that they're using on the plastic. It's not glossy at all. It's not very, um, it's not too matte. It's kind of just like a nice um, satin finish. A beautifully sculpted figure. Uh, the body feels very generic. Like I kind of feel that they could use this buck for other characters. And like I said, I'd love to see this body be used for Nightwing. Uh, the sculpting on his face is incredibly detailed. It feels like all the detail that's absent on his costume, they kind of just focused around his chest and face. You know, there's an incredible amount of sculpting there to really, you know, create that uh, dead persona look. You know, it kind of has like the sunken eyes with a heavy eye shadow, uh, the deathly kind of wrinkles. It's a really, really impressive piece. It's interesting with this figure because it kind of borderlines on being comic book and realistic in its um, presentation. Like the costume, you know, it's missing a lot of the, that kind of like embellishment that we've seen on other um, superhero costumes. Like it's missing, you know, like seam lines and like a fine texture. It's very just bare, like almost like spandex. But then when you come to the face, it's almost very kind of like realistic in its portrayal. And I think that contrast is really it's really something it makes much for a much more engaging and eye-catching figure uh, the logo screened on his abdomen um, appears to be pretty clean in terms of the figure's height this guy comes in at about a little under seven and a half inches 
uh, for a size comparison, here he is next to uh, the McFarlane designed Batman. Uh, this is an older figure, and the older figures are slightly larger than the newer ones. And surprisingly, it seems like it's a good, uh, you know, height for a newer figure. It's not too small, and it's not as large as the older ones. So I think it's a nice in-between. In terms of his articulation, his head rotates. Uh, does he look down? Looks down. Wow, that's fairly impressive. Does he look up? Uh, not so much. More so looking forward. Um, this collar here is its a soft plastic, but it's not as pliable as you'd like. It's a little bit stiff. Uh, the arms rotate. As you can see, it's on the ball socketed butterfly joint. Um, arms go out, bicep cut, uh, double jointed elbows, but it's an exposed pin, uh, articulated wrists, um, mid torso cut, so it could get all crazy, swivels at the waist, kicks up about there, kicks outward. So it seems like you could probably get the full splits almost if you wanted to. Uh, double jointed knees, exposed pins, and articulated ankles and toes. So it's a very stock figure in terms of its articulation. The presentation is really well done though. I think it's a very clean action figure. And I love how all the focus is kind of drawn towards the head, you know, as it should be. He has a very serious expression. It's almost like he's staring right into you. And with the eye shadow, it, it just makes it look even more impressive. One thing I noticed on social media when they first um, unveiled photos of this guy is that people thought that uh, maybe the head was reused from the Game of Thrones figure. Um, let me grab that real quick. All right, so this was from McFarlane's very short-lived uh, Game of Thrones um, line of action figures. Great line of toys, but, you know, we never saw figures beyond, uh, you know, the dragon and, you know, uh, this lot right here. So when people saw the early images of Dead Man, they thought that this head was kind of pulled from maybe the Night King figure. And I kind of thought so at first also. There's some similarities, but... Um, uh, they're different enough. My thought is it's possible maybe the sculptor who worked on this was the same designer that did this guy right here. Or it's very possible they just found inspiration from, uh, you know, this figure and wanted to recreate, you know, the similar looking head sculpt. All right, so on a scale of 1 to 10, how do I rate Dead Man? For me, it's an easy, solid 9. Um, a very unexpected character for McFarlane to put out. It's incredible that they're doing a wide assortment of figures um, and really tackling that DC roster beyond like Batman and Superman centric characters. Uh, Dead Man's been around forever. Um, you know, he has a nice following. Um, you know, he's very unique in terms of his backstory and, you know, visually, I think it's a, it's a very cool looking character. Um, do you need this in your collection? I'm going to say uh, yes. If you really want to like broaden your McFarlane DC Multiverse line, I think it's important to like, you know, pick this guy up and just really build up your roster. And at the same time, you know, send that message to McFarlane that you really want um, more characters just beyond Batman and Superman, which is the case. You know, I think they've heard, you know, fans really clamor for that. But it's a beautiful figure and it's well worth the purchase. All right, so with that being said, let's wrap this one up. Once again, my name is Lou. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you are a returning viewer or subscriber, thank you so much for your continued support. I greatly appreciate it. So until the next video, be safe, take care of yourself, buy lots of toys, and most importantly, be happy. And I'll see you at the next one. All right, later.